Hi everyone and welcome to my Photoshop tutorial on how to create your own custom pet portrait. We are going to turn this beautiful dog into a contemporary portrait. I will clearly explain and show all the steps I'm taking to achieve this result. If you are interested in more of my work, please consider following me on my Instagram pages found in the description below. To begin with, open the template you would like to use. I have chosen this painting by George Desmare titled Carl August Rex. We will use our lasso tool to select Carl's head and press the delete key. Make sure you choose the content aware option. You can also do this by going in the edit menu and select fill, again making sure that content aware is selected. If you would like to alter the background in any way, then you can start by selecting either the subject or the background using the quick selection tool. This can be a tedious process if you want to get some good selections done. In this case I have used a surface blur, so play around with the radius and threshold until you're happy with the result. Using the smudge tool and the mix color brush, which you can download from the link below, I have blended the edges of our character a bit more with the background for a more seamless transition. Here is a canvas I made for my three beautiful cats. So, what do you think? I used the same technique as shown in this video to achieve the effect. This canvas was made with a more painterly approach, but it follows the same basics. If you would like to order your own pet portrait from me, I can offer you a digital copy of it. Just head over to my online shop, link in the description below. Open an image of your pet and using the lasso tool, start your selection around the head and other parts of the body that you might want to include. Press Ctrl C to copy the selection and Ctrl V back to our template to paste the selection as a new layer. Press Ctrl T to transform the layer and adjust it to fit on our template. Add a white mask on the newly created layer from the bottom of your layer panel. Switch to your brush tool and use a soft front brush with an opacity and flow of 100% and start erasing the edges of your selection so that we are left with a cleaner shape. Make sure the color of your brush is set to black, otherwise you will not erase anything. If your mask is white, then paint with the black. If you have erased something by mistake, then press the keyboard button X to switch to a white color. Transform your image accordingly and rotate or scale to make it fit better. Especially important to integrate the head of your pet with the neck of, your, of our dear Carl here.
Pick a brush that best resembles the fur flow and size of your pet. You can find an extensive number of brushes in the description below that will suit your needs. I have tried using a long fur brush, but in the end I settled with long white brush. This process can be very tedious, it is like grooming your pet, but it is well worth it in the end as it will add a lot of details to your image. The brush orientation does need to be changed sometimes depending on which part of your pet you are working. You can do this by pressing the arrow near your brush tip and the top left of your screen and playing around with the angle cycle found in here. Convert your pet layer to a smart object by right-clicking on it and select Convert to Smart Object. 
I will start stylizing my pet portrait by using an unsharp mask filter with a power of 100% and a radius of 3. I will also add an oil paint filter from the stylize menu to further improve our work. Lately, we add another unsharp mask filter with the power of 50% to bring those nice details out. We then open our camera row filter option. In the FX tab, we can start playing with some grain to further implement our pet portrait with the background. The, setting, the settings you use here are very much dependent on the background you have chosen and the type of pet image you are using. We can now go to the image menu and in the adjustment stack we can select levels. Play around with the input and output sliders until you can match the color brightness and contrast closer to the background. From the adjustment menu, play around with the color balance, especially the mid-tones will need some fine-tuned adjustments. Add a new layer on top of your stack. We can now take our paint bucket tool and change the color to something closer to the background but lighter. You want to use a color here that best matches your overall painting so that it has that feeling of old. Use the paint bucket to fill the entire layer with that color and then change the layer blending mode to overlay. Set the opacity to about 28-30% it really depends on the uh, the portrait that you want to you want to do. Now, if you look at our painting, it feels like something is missing. We need shadows to further enhance our, por our pet portrait in combination with good old call. We will add a new layer that goes just above our background layer. Set the layer blending mode to multiply and using a soft round brush with a low opacity, take a sample from the image closest to where you will paint the shadows by holding Alt and clicking and start painting away. This layer only affects the background template and not the pet portrait layer. After our background shadows are added, now we want to add a new layer on top of our pet portrait layer so that we can add shadows there as well. By holding Alt and clicking at the bottom of our newly created layer icon, a small arrow will appear and if you click this will create a clipping mask. You can also create this by right clicking the layer and selecting that option. This will ensure that this layer only affects the layer underneath it. 
We now repeat the same process as before, but this time we paint around all edges of our pet portrait layer and within the layer as well where we want to add darker values. Please make sure your layer is set to multiply. Adjust the opacity of your layer where you added shadows to get the desired effect. Thank you all for watching my Photoshop tutorial on how to create your very own pet portrait. I make this for a lot of customers and it's always a blast to get this made. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments below. If you enjoyed our content, please consider leaving a like and subscribe to our channel for more future videos. If you'd like to support me personally, then please consider going on my pet portrait page and have a browse through my shop.